Prison for transport now. I'll let you know when we're on our way down. There's my favorite man in uniform. I don't wear a uniform. That's okay. I like you better out of it anyway. Mm, I can guess why you're here, and it's not to see me. Do you think I would miss a chance to bid Peter Bon Voyage on his way back to Pentonville? I need to make sure that the man who caused us all so much grief is finally out of our lives. Oh, um, uh, these cuffs are a bit too tight. Why are they? You know, like shackles, Peter, you probably shouldn't go on a crime spree. But for now, why don't you finish saying your final goodbyes to freedom? I hate goodbyes. Huh? How about until we meet again? Transfer has been arranged down to the last detail. I'm sorry, but I can't let you observe him being put in the transport. I'll at least watch you take him away. Maxie deserves a witness. I can live with that. And I want you to promise to call me just as soon as Peter is processed into Pentonville. That way I can let Maxie know that the danger is over and Peter is gone for good. Next time I see you, Peter, will be at your trial where you'll be convicted. Yeah, I think you're taking this much too personally, Detective. It's very unprofessional. You left a trail of blood and carnage from here to Cassadon Island. Hurting people I know and love. You're damn right. I take it personally. If I wasn't wearing this damn oh, badge, you right are, now, Dante. Yeah, you are. You. And even though you're Sonny Corinthos' son, you're still gonna enforce the law. So when it comes right down to it, you're the last person on earth I need to fear. Let me tell you something. You know nothing about me. I want you to live a long life, Peter. Behind those walls, waking up every day, walking around, constantly worrying that someone's got a shit for you to stick in your back, or a wire to wrap around your neck. I want you to live to be old and gray, and realize that everyone out here, we all just forgot about you. Oh, well, there's one thing I'm quite certain about, Detective. And what is that? No one here will ever forget me. Felicia? Hi. Hi. How did I know you'd be here? Oh, God, I can't imagine. I just left Maxie. How is she? She's counting every second until this is over. But luckily, she's with someone. Wouldn't be the good doctor, would it? It would. Hmm. So you noticed? Well, hard not to. Dr. Gatlin Holt, he very clumsily tried to get rid of me so that he could spend more time with Maxie alone. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, I, I appreciate the distraction while we make sure that Peter it becomes ancient. Anna Devane! Oh, it's so good to have family around at a time like this. I'm here to see you remanded to prison where you will be kept from Maxie and her daughter for the rest of your life. Speaking of Maxie, please do give her my love, yeah? Why, when you don't know what the word means? On second thought, never mind. I'd rather tell her myself. We're on our way down. Let's go. Move. 